and uh, can you tell me about the unionization of what's going on over at yeah, so currently we have three stores who are unionizing. We have Hope Street, Point Street, and Broadway. Um, we're in the process of working towards getting our other two stores, Cranston and Rumford, unionized, and we're working really hard to get our production facility to like be in the same process. Um, we are currently, we submitted our union letters last Friday, and we're currently just waiting to hear back from the owners. Yeah. We've heard good things, but we still haven't gotten a yes or no, so it's kind of hard to tell which way they're going to go. And just because um, I'm not great on union law i know a little bit about the process but yeah. if they say yes that's pretty much it or do you still need yeah. to vote so if they say yes then we're automatically like part of the union we just kind of skip straight to the like voting for a committee and the um like negotiation process Bargaining, yeah. um but if they say no we're already prepared and starting to file for election which would be a couple of weeks or months of us um as employees voting just basically to formalize the union right 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 and uh, so, and you haven't heard anything from the owners yet? Haven't heard anything from management yet? Um, the owner, one of the owners, he's he's talked about how his dad was a union president. He sounded very understanding, um, but again, like he's not really giving a yes or no either mm -hmm. way. So it's hard to tell what he's gonna end up with. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. So are there specific issues that drove your effort? Yeah, you know, there have been um, a lot of little things and obviously it's a little different across the stores across production facility but a big thing is right now we make nine ten dollars an hour as a barista um, shift leads get a dollar more but they you know we rely heavily on tips from customers right now which you know tips are appreciated but I don't want to have to count on them um, they took away ability for raises and basically moving up within the company so from the day you start it's a little bit of a dead-end job oh, um, and we don't get benefits as part-timers um, it's really hard to obtain a full-time status so that leaves a lot of us just having to get our own health care benefits things like that and then one of the like specific concerns is we have an on-call day where from 6 to 9 a.m. one of us is scheduled to be on call like we have to be ready to go in but we're not paid for those hours and right. we're not paid for the day unless we go into work Personally, I think on call is a complete scam. I mean, so they're like, so just to think about there's scheduling issues, like like what I call fair scheduling issues. Like, yeah, it's definitely like they do a lot of they'll give you 30, 35 hours one week and then 20 the next week to kind of balance out and make sure you don't get enough hours to qualify for benefits. Right, right. And that happens with most employees. Like a lot of places do that. I would, yeah. I would have thought they were doing better than that. That's interesting. We've gotten new owners in the last couple of years, yeah. and they've really just changed a lot of things. Interesting. Because they used to have raises, they used to have better pay. Right. Um, they took away 5% of the pay at the beginning of the pandemic, and then six months later held a party, or a year later held a party and talked about how profits were up, but we still haven't seen any of the benefits from it. Interesting. Um, so there's like right now, you know, nationally there's a big effort towards yeah. unionization, right? So do you see yourself situated in that? wave of uni unionization efforts yeah absolutely especially with places like starbucks unionizing yeah. it's really easy to be like okay we're part of that we got that energy we can join in sure which is why we're also vouching for other stores and the production center and i mean other local stores in the area to form yeah. the same process like uh white electric is a unionized yeah co-op yeah so i don't know if they're still technically unionized i could be yeah, wrong I'm but not sure about that either, yeah. they unionized and then the owner sold it so now it is a co-op owned by the employees right 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 yeah and the, and the uh star Bucks in Warwick just kind of stalled yesterday. Yeah. They had their vote. They haven't. They have some votes they have to challenge. Yeah. They got so. a nine to eight, like yesterday. I know, and there's so. two votes challenged, and there's it's other other issues tell. there to know. Hard to know what's going to happen there. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, what else occurs to you to talk about? What else, what what are, what are the other things that are going on? Because um, you know, right now I am really just pushing to get all the coworkers at my current stores make sure that they're like staying energized about this, making sure that. We don't let anyone from management kind of like try and convince us otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I'm really just working hard to get the two stores and the production facility. Like I really just want the customers to support them and continue to show their support to us yeah. because if they're not coming in and they're not interacting with us, then there's no point in fighting for this job. Right. So you need customers to come in and be yeah. strongly. We don't want them to boycott. We don't want them to like separate from the store. We just want them to see what we're doing and know that yeah. it's benefiting them as well as us. And you also want them to tip well when they do come in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Definitely sure. Appreciate it. Sure. Um, and like last is there anything else I should know? Anything else uh, going forward about this? No, we're just right now. We're just kind of waiting for a response from the owner. That's our yeah. biggest thing. 
that's the, that's the hard part to figure out because yeah. they're this early knowing what's going to happen yeah where it's going to go that's cool what's your uh, favorite um item over at uh seven stars my favorite item yeah currently, like? uh food wise i'm currently obsessed with the ham and cheese croissant i don't know if it's because it's new and flashy but yeah. kind of obsessed drink wise i always get a nitro cold brew with maple syrup and oat milk okay all right that uh, sounds interesting <laughs> really well, thank you so much for your time yeah of course that's